Hi there, Margaret Wertheim here, registered dietitian nutritionist. And today I'm here with my final video in the, my three video series about keeping the holidays healthier. In case you missed the first two videos, in video number one, I discussed the problems with overindulging in excess sugar during the holidays. And I discussed tips for how to make your holiday baking a little bit healthier and also lower in sugar. In video number two, I went through and made dark chocolate peanut butter balls. So for me, this was a recipe makeover. As many chocolate peanut butter ball recipes have about 15 grams of sugar per chocolate peanut butter ball. And in my recipe, there's only two grams of added sugar per ball. So that's really a seven fold reduction in added sugar. And I promise that they're really delicious. There's been a really great response to this recipe so far. So I hope that you will go ahead and try it out. So if you haven't seen my previous videos, you may be asking, why is it so important to address sugar during the holidays? I mean, after all, it is the holidays. Shouldn't we just enjoy ourselves? The problem is, is that all those excess sugary treats do tend to make us uh, gain weight. We tend to be moodier, more tired. So the holidays can be a great time to establish new traditions of eating healthier and having some lower sugar desserts. In my work, I find that many of my clients struggle with sugar cravings and they really get derailed during the holiday season. I found that an effective way to help people feel better and establish healthier eating habits is through a threefold strategy. The first step is to make sure that you include plenty of protein and vegetables at your meals because that'll help you feel full and satisfied and less likely to be craving the sweets. Number two, you also want to include some kind of a starch like quinoa, sweet potatoes, butternut squash, um, something like that that covers about a quarter of your plate. That way you're getting some carbohydrates to help with the sugar cravings. I find that some people over restrict carbohydrates and then they often find themselves um, really craving sugar. Number three, when you do have sweets, it's important to have sweets that are nutrient dense. So I like to use um, fruit in some of my treats or nuts, nut butters, cocoa powder. These are all really nutrient dense foods with um, including nutrients like magnesium and vitamin E that are really important for our overall health. Instead of having something on the opposite end of the spectrum, such as jelly beans, for example, which really are just pure added sugar as well as food dyes with no real benefits at all. And we don't end up feeling very nourished or satisfied after having something like that. So I found that using this threefold strategy, my clients tend to lose weight um, if that's their goal, but they also feel like they're getting treats and it really helps to minimize their sugar cravings. So again, you may be thinking, oh, the holidays really should just be enjoyed. I shouldn't have to worry about my sugar intake. But the problem is that the average American already consumes 94 grams of added sugar per day. This is already three to four times as much added sugar as we should be having. So that is what this looks like. So it's really a pretty large amount of added sugar. And then when you add on to that, um, the cakes and the cookies uh, and the pies and the other sweets that we're having, we just really set ourselves up to gain weight and also just to feel generally unwell. So wouldn't it be great if you could make it through the holidays with no weight gain while also enjoying some lower sugar treats and without having to really battle those sugar cravings come the new year? You are in luck because on Monday, I'm going to be releasing my new low sugar holiday recipe book, and I really can't wait to share it with you. So stay tuned for more details. If you are not on my email list, um, go ahead and sign up in the box below this video so that you can um, be informed when I release that on Monday. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you soon. Bye.